We have the Scorpio new moon on November 13th, but what makes this new moon extra potent and extra powerful is that both the sun and the moon are opposing Uranus retrograde at 20 degrees of Taurus. And because of this opposition where both the sun and the moon are involved, this could feel like an eclipse. This could feel like more big changes, more things are underway, more things that you thought maybe were settled and taken care of come up again and come back around and can be quite disruptive. But because it's a new moon and it's in Scorpio, the universe is signaling to do something new, create, recreate, look at this in a fresh way, begin there with a deeper connection to your power. Really own what you've been transforming and moving through and understand that this Uranian opposition, yes, it can be a roller coaster, it can be spicy, it can feel like things are even moving too fast. But what it also shows you is your ability to stay with the changes, to keep going and to allow it to be more of your energy and play meaning you're able to see that, okay, I can do something with this that I never thought maybe would transpire or would come about. This can be jolting and unsettling, but I feel like it's also the universe continuing to move us forward, accelerating us into these higher frequencies, helping us calibrate to these faster moving energies, what they mean, what they're about, and that we are adaptable. We are able to then acclimate to the changes and to keep going with an intentional connection to our power. So yes, this can be an extra big new moon for you, especially if you have planets or points around 20 degrees of the fixed signs, the fixed signs being Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So there is a lot here, a lot of energy that can burst out and because it's an opposition, it can feel like it's opposing you in some manner, that something is coming up in front of you out of the blue, a blind side. But I feel like this is also the universe revealing something that you need to see, something that you need to be aware of and allow that to be something that you can work with and that there are no secrets at this time when so much is moving through not only our individual energy fields, but in the collective. So big secrets can come out here with this opposition. We're meant to see the truth. We're meant to see more things that have been hidden. And I hope ultimately this also shows you more about your own capacity to work with these frequencies and to continue to trust yourself and to honor your power.